YouTube so today's the next day um, I just wanted to give you a little show of my top basically um to show you how I got, I got a tape I had a tape for a couple of days now um since Monday and today's Wednesday and um basically I don't recommend it I don't think that's what you're supposed to do I don't I don't think so but I did it because I don't feel like I keep doing it over and over and I don't have the oil with me right now, so I'm just dealing with it, but um, keep it on long enough, the thing starts to shrivel up a little bit and start to itch your skin. Um, but I will show you my top right now, just for, um, I guess, educational purposes, um, nothing else. Um, I will be trying to do skin to skin. My daughter was born yesterday, if you have seen the rest of the video. So I'm just gonna show you my top on how I got it right now. I actually can show y'all how I look. Side view. So it's like very flat, as you can see. Um, and then I'll just show y'all how it looks right now and how I'm a, how I got it. Just I'm bumping my daughter. So, that's how I got it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see. I got like a little tape right to do. See right there, I got like a little tape right to do. And these are what I'm talking about that when it crinkles, it starts to itch. Like that. But, um, yeah, basically, this is my top. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to work with that. Um, I did do it um, in a rush, so I'm not sure if I did it correctly, but I got it done. Um, it's not really showing anything with clothes on, and I'm happy of it, so, you know. Not bad, I'm, I'm actually liking them, loving it. So I just wanna share this before and my size and stuff like that, and then later on I'll show y'all. Um, my progress with, you know, chest to chest with my daughter. Peace. What's good, YouTube? You can't see me, my bad. All right, what's good, YouTube? Uh, I'm back with another video. Uh, basically, it's gonna be very simple, straightforward. I know I promised y'all a video of me basically showing y'all the trans tape, which I have already kind of used already. Um, I haven't bonded with my daughter yet with it. I did have it on when she was born inside the hospital, but I still didn't have that chest-to-chest -chest moment with her with this tape on because basically, baby, you know, things was a lot of things was going on in the hospital that I wanted to just, you know, make sure everything was good first before I did skin to skin. Um, so now I'm just basically going to show you my chest before I put apply this on. I'm not going to show you fully my, you know, my whole chest, but I'm just going to show you with the shirt on. I do have a black shirt on, so I apologize. It is type dark in here, but um, I'm going to see what I could do with showing y'all, you know, my chest real quick. Uh, uh, right here. So, y'all can see. No, you can't see, actually. Let me try to put y'all right here. Hopefully, I can see better. Mm. So you see me? My chest is kind of flat already. Have a little bit of nipple work right here. That's right here. Um, but this is what my chest looks like without me um, having the tape on. Um, frontwards, you can see as well. It's kind of hard to see I'm black, but this probably do not work for y'all, but this is how my chest looks. Uh, put my hands up. My hands are up. You know what I'm saying? I put my chest up. You know what I'm saying? And if I put my shirt tight, you can probably see where everything is. Um, but right now I have nothing on. I have no sports bra on. I have nothing on. No undershirt, nothing like that. I just have this black shirt on. Um, as you can see, it just me and my chesticles. Um, and that's it really. 
but I will show you a video after this. I'm gonna apply the tape on um, and basically, you know, go from there. So stay tuned, one second. So, basically, I'm just gonna show y'all this is how I've been doing my tape. I've been doing it like that a little bit, um, just to keep it from moving so much on here. Um, I should remove that, place it somewhere else. Um, then I go from here. I normally cut basically like six, but I could cut this for my um my nipple. So I normally cut for my nipple. I'm gonna cut it from right here. As you can see, I didn't do it really even, but um, it's very sticky. So it's like you gotta try and cut this perfectly somehow. That's how I normally do this one, this piece. As you can see, that's how I normally do it with this. And then I fold it in half and I cut that. Well, I normally, and I use these two strips right here. Normally, what I normally do is I'll take basically like some Vaseline or some shea butter and I'll put it over the areola and just so the tape won't stick to it too much and if anything if I want to take it off it come off easily because I sorry my video cut off just now so basically I was saying that this I normally put um like um shea butter or anything else on my areola just so this will not basically I put this on my nipple on the areola um, just so it won't stick onto the areola, um, but around it, it will stick, you know what I'm saying? So if I take it off, it's not too, too on it. That's my, just, that's my tip that what I do, but they have products, I, I think, that, um, to avoid that. Some people normally put tissue in the middle of it, just so it won't touch, but that's just my way. Um, so yeah, that's what I do with these two, so I save these for the areola. Um, then I come, normally I take six of these. Because my chest is big, I did get the medium one because they didn't have the large ones. So I got the medium one. Oh, I think this might be small. I'm not too sure, but you can look on the website. Um, this is also not the color that I wanted, but I'm dealing with it. It's working good for me. It doesn't matter the color. Nobody's really going to see my chest like that. I really have no problem with the color. Um, it's not see-through or anything, so it's like, it's cool. I can, I can make it. I like this. Um, I just need a bigger size. I just need the bigger size that they have, which I don't have. So I have to use two strips for one chest side of the chest. So basically, what I normally do is I use um, I go count by lines: one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's how much I normally use, just to go right here and around because it's not thick enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I come here and I cut it. Give me one second. One second, right there. So this is what I only use. No matter, I I should be okay with getting away with like a little bit of half of that. Um, then what you want to do is you want to cut the edges into a little roundish just so it won't be easy for it to come off and normally what I do is I go in between this and I make it like round around there so it's like a as round as possible so like that so that's how I do it around everything normally uh, I probably won't do it around the areolas today normally I normally do but but um right now I just won't Okay, so I want I want it to stick a little bit, so I'm just still experimenting on it. So it will be my first time basically not cutting the areolas edges. Normally they say it's best so it can like stick better, but I'm not having no troubles really. Um, and that's my first strip for that's my first strip for one side. So next one I normally do again is five. One, two, three, four, five, and that's normally for under the under part. And 
So I normally do. There you go. So this one is longer than the other one. As you can see. There you go. That's how it looks. You know what I'm saying? And then this one, I do the same thing. You want to basically round them edges. You know? You don't want them all over the place, so I just round them. Want them cool as possible. And the same thing goes for the other side. So I won't be showing y'all how to apply it on, being that I'm still not comfortable zone to just show my chest and do that. So if anything, I will show the end result of my chest. Um, so this is how you basically get your strips. This is for one side. This is what normally I use. So this is what I use right here. Right here. This is what I like this. So basically, I'm gonna apply that onto one side and I'm gonna do a repeat what I just did for the other side, you know what I'm saying? Just so, um, you know, we need two. I got two, you know, chest. So, um, I just did one side and I'm gonna do the other one and basically I'll show y'all the end result. Once again, if you can see, let me hit the camera, maybe I can get a better look. This is what, I'm mean, gonna just go step into some light. Got this type dark in here more light right here so basically I can show you right here probably like this this is what looking like side view you can see right here a little bit of show not too much the front other side um, so this is gonna flatten these out um, my chest is not very, you know, it's like more muscular, but you know, your chest do start weighing down, being that, you know, you wear sports bras or either you like wear binders and that squishes it so it makes it droop more. So, <laughs> so it's, you know, different experience, but I am going to show y'all next. So remember this shirt, I should have a light shirt on just so I can see, but I'm sure y'all can see through here how I'm looking right now. Um, my chain is up. So you can see. So I'm sure I can see you through this. So the next video y'all get is basically of me with the things on and the next step is to bond with my daughter. So hold on one second, stay tuned. So I'm back, I taped up my chest. Um, this is a big deal because I'm so uncomfortable right now. Um, but this is just for content for y'all. Um, I will put the camera down just so y'all can see. And then I will put my shirt back on just so y'all can um, get a feel of how things look. My chest. I'm sorry, backwards. Um, normally, you can see, like, okay, I haven't showed y'all any muscle gains as well. This is how my muscle is looking. Um, I have pecs right here if y'all but y'all can't see with the tape. Um basically my back. This is how my body is looking. Um basically you can see that's how I'm looking, that's how it's going. Trans, you know, trans body. I'm loving it, feeling it, you know. Can't do nothing but love it, you know, after everything I've been through. Um, I'm happy with the results so far. Um, working on my stomach still. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all with the shirt on now, so. And by the way, I, ne I never told y'all my size. I'm not too sure of the size because I always squeezed into a small because to me that was like my binder to try to keep it tight. But I remember as a kid, like when I was in like, what, like probably like 
fifth grade or something like that. My chest size was like a 34 C that I can remember. That's the only thing I remember after that. My chest did get bigger, but I did not know the size of it. Um, numbers wise, I don't know that anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what it was. Um, and yeah, let me sh put a shirt on and show y'all. And I'm gonna take y'all back out into this living room just so I can get more of a better look of what I'm working with right now. Now that I've got my shirt on and how you can see how flat it is. And yeah, here we go. So, now this is the front. Remember before I had like a, like the little niblets things showing. That's how I look now. Up. I'm saying like a regular chest, put my hands up. This is like a regular. This is a new bike. I'm saying it's still like that. I'm saying like So, I'm still good, you know. Abs out. Fake abs. Um, so, basically, this is my video. Oh, forgot. Sorry, I almost, almost forgot. I got a bomb with my daughter. I gotta show her. Forgot, 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 forgot. Ending results to end this video. Baby girl asleep. Um, but I will show y'all right now. Hey babe, baby's here right here. All right, so one second. Me doing chest to chest with my daughter. I'll just for a few minutes, like five minutes for right now. I got stuff to do, but here we go, y'all. My video. Hope y'all enjoyed. She seemed very relaxed, happy. I'm happy. Um, I get to do this and feel comfortable. Ain't got to worry about her trying to get anything because she can't. <laughs> um, yeah, she seems at peace and I'm happy. She's very comfortable. It's a good feeling. I advise every trans dad out there to you know, try to get you some trans tape and you know try to bond with your kid and be comfortable in your skin. So yeah, peace out, y'all.